What's up, Colliders? Welcome back to another episode here of the Halloween Hunt. I am the kid, Jay Dunn. That's Miss Diva Talks. Yeah. And as I said, all month long, we are dropping nothing but Halloween scary stuff, man. So, this one's coming up from Nightmare Files. So, without further ado, let's see what he's cooking up. I live in rural Kentucky. Southeast Kentucky, to be exact. I was staying with my aunt and uncle up in Mount Vernon, Kentucky along with my aunt's great-great-aunt named Leela. I was between the ages of six and eight at the time, and Leela was around her late 80s or early 90s and was sadly in poor health. Doctors had refused her treatment due to her age and overall health. She's about five foot three, 200 pounds and wheelchair bound, so they opt for setting up hospice in my aunt's house, allowing her to live out her days. Anyways, I had slept on the couch the days I were there, and leading to their back porch like that, were the sliding glass doors. They always kept blinds over them and had an alarm system and kept the doors locked so I wasn't really worried because even as a kid, I knew what break-ins were. Needless to say, I was pretty freaked out when I was awakened by low tapping sounds on the glass doors. It was daylight so I thought nothing of it. I kind of assumed it was one of the stray dogs that roamed the area and that their tail was hitting the glass. Not long after that, I saw a shadow through the blinds. No, no eyes, <laughs> no features. Just a really tall shadow. Well, I thought it was my uncle just leaving to go to work, so I went back to sleep. I awoke later to find out that A, it was Saturday, and he had the day off. <laughs> and B, it snowed all night. <laughs> just the way he was like, thought of my uncle, and went to sleep. Then he thought, wait a minute, <laughs> it's Saturday. <laughs> And there were no footprints at all. My aunt was freaked out and couldn't really let me sleep on the couch after that. You skip forward a day or two and now I'm at home. When our phone rings, it was my aunt calling to tell my mom that Leela had died. That in itself was kind of spooky, given the fact that my aunt thought that I had seen an apparition. But the kicker? Leela was sitting on the couch I had slept on and she just slumped over. My little cousin Emily who was around four or five at the time, screamed and began blabbering about the dark man over Leela. Needless to say, everyone now tells anyone I bring home about the time I saw the Reaper. As always, Colitis, if you enjoyed this reaction, go ahead and hit the like button, share with someone you think would like it as well. If you want to check out Nightmare Files channel or this video for yourself, the links will be in the description below, along with where you can find me in official DW on our own YouTube channels. Anything else? Really? So at this time. Yeah. Very different from the last one. Yeah. Bye. Later.